Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Audrey and this is my doll boudoir and today at my doll boudoir we are not reviewing anything thankfully. Um, today at my doll boudoir we're going to be customizing a doll and by the thumbnail of this video you've probably guessed that the doll that we're going to be customizing is Emerald McNabb and you'd also be right thinking but wait a minute he doesn't look like any other boys and that is also correct. My gosh. What can I say except, baby, you're going to Paris, and this is the final answer heard all around the world. He's one million dollars! Which I have already said. And that's because I didn't use a boy to custom make my emerald. The doll that I used to custom make my emerald is Meline. And the reason I chose Meline is because I like her um, sculpt. That is it. And I also think that her skin tone matches emeralds quite well. Um, and... On top of that, I have also had just about enough of boy dolls not having lips. So I have taken it upon myself to make a boy that is faithful to the show and also that I feel is going to slay. So without further ado, if you're curious how he turns out and if you're curious of the entire process, please keep on watching and um, I'll see you when I start making him. So yeah. <laughs> That was like five takes. So I have already decapitated Meline and the body that I'm going to be using is Finn's body. So um, let's get the head ready and let's put the body aside. I honestly grew so tired of using scissors that I have decided that I'm going to use clippers from now on. They're so much easier. To remove her makeup, I am using pure acetone. So now that her makeup is gone, it's time to shave off her edges. So I pressed too hard and now I have those dents and I'm gonna have to buff. So I'm just marking where I want his hairline to be and right now you can see me finishing sketching the hairline um, on his body, on his head. The glue that we're going to be using to flog him today is a clear water-based glue, just like Elmer's glue, uh, which means that we won't be able to ball wash his hair later. Um, but I guess that's okay if I want the flocking to look good. That was literally such an epic fail. But anyway, um, so the way I flock is I paint the scalp with glue and in the shape that I want it to be. And then I use that little sieve and I put the flocking in there and then I sprinkle the flocking all over the head. And in the end, what you see me do right now is I'm just cleaning up the edges with my fingernail. So I really didn't lie to you. I was going to use Finn's body, but since I have to paint it, I have decided to go with Ash's body because I have quite a few. And I think I matched the paint quite well. And you can see in the back of his knees, the paint chipped off a little bit, but I don't mind because I can fix it. And here are the hints. So these are the colors that I'm going to be using to reroute Emerald. And I have made a custom blend for him. So as you can see, I have sectioned off where I want the hair to be and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create holes so that I can reroute him. Three, 
you all have seen me reword so many times that to make this video shorter I've decided to skip it this time and what you see me do right now is I'm just giving him like a base haircut to, to give it the shape that I want and here's what his hair looks like after I feathered it. Since we can't boil wash I'm just warming up the hair with a beanie on. So for his outfit I am using rivers pieces and initially I tried to color them with uh, fabric markers and the finish is terrible. You can still see the splotches and the blue is peeking through so I decided to use acrylic paint and paint over it. And we're gonna do the same for the jacket. As you can see I have already taken the sleeves off because I'm gonna be replacing them. Um, with white sleeves. Instead of creating two sleeves from scratch, I decided to use Ash's jacket and I've taken the sleeves off of that, I painted the pocket screen and the embroidery gold. I have also taken the cuffs off and I'm going to be replacing them with the cuffs of River's original jacket to match the finish. So this step doesn't need any explanation. I am just going to repaint Emerald. He's a boy, so nothing amazing, nothing extraordinary. Um, just some black on top and brown on the bottom, just to give him some definition, and that's it. Right now I'm just mapping out where I want his creases to be and I am using a brown watercolor pencil and what I assume to be a Van Dyke brown and I'm just going over it in acrylic paint. So it's finally time for brows and I'm going to create a blend of green to black and the ends are going to be black and the fronts are going to be green and the color of the shade of green that I'm using is called Viridian. So for his lips, I didn't want to make him look like he's wearing lipstick or even lip gloss but at the same time I didn't want his lips to be the same shade as his head so I mixed and matched some colors and I have ended up using this color that is marginally darker than his face but it does the job.
So for my least favorite step every single time, let's put the ice back in. This is what the jacket looks like and let's give him some buttons. I'm going to connect these two pins with some chain and attach them to the jacket. This is what the entire outfit looks like um, on my Isles River and I have used Rex's shoes and airbrushed them white and I'm going to put some gold laces in there and this is what emerald looks like so the only thing left to do is his hair and then we can dress him up and take pictures. Um, there was a lot of combing and brushing and combing and putting some more gel on um, because I couldn't ball wash but the hair is finally um, the way I wanted it to be and I think it looks great like I am in love obviously it's going to spike up once it dries a little bit and I'm fine with that um, but this is what emerald looks like so a friend of mine told me that I should start putting a before and after at the end of the video. So here's the before and here's the after. This one's for YouTuber, shout out to you. Um, anyway, what do you guys think? Because I personally am obsessed, I can't stop looking at him, but at the end of the day, I make content for you. So let me know what you think in the comment section. If you think I succeeded, if you think I failed, if you like this custom, if you don't, if you think he looks faithful to the animation, if you like this video, if you didn't, all those things, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, if you did like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out my channel. And yeah, I'm gonna put pictures at the end of this video right after I stop talking. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. In audio. In audio.